I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse vlog. Plenty of rackets for you to look at this week's jump straight in. First up, new to us is the Wilson Ultra Pro. We just got these in stock. We have two versions to go through. First up, I've got the 1820 in my hand. This is a really silky smooth player's racket. It's got a nice thin classic beam. Um, it's you know a carry on of the old Ultra Tour racket that was really popular. Uh, when that was around, uh, this one's 305 grams unstrung. It's a headlight balance, so it's going to give you tons of control, feel for the ball. It's kind of a racket where you're going to want to generate your own power, so it's definitely a player's racket spec. Uh, comes through nice and clean and low, pretty fast on the swing, so that's a good one right there. And then if you want to get a little higher trajectory on your shots, a good racket for hitting a bit more topspin. And this was, a, I think, a great option for the flatter kind of slice player, looking for a lot of touch and control. This one, a little bit livelier response because it has a 1619 string pattern. So just a bit more of an open pattern. And this one, same um, unstrung specs though, pretty much 305 grams is the target weight on these. Again, nice and headlight, thin beam, uh, lots of feel and control still, but with a little bit more forgiveness from the string bed, just because you have less string material in there to move and deflect when you hit the ball. So you get a slightly lively response out of it. But again, tons of control out of those. Beautiful cosmetics too. Love the way the, uh, the blue changes in the light on those two uh, purple, uh, absolutely gorgeous rackets. Okay, a couple more from Wilson now. We have some US Open uh, special cosmetic of existing rackets. So this one is the Blade 98 V8 1619 and the US Open cosmetic. And you'll see some US Open details on the frame and obviously the blue and white color on that one. And then also we have one more, and this is a Clash 100 V2 uh, 1619 string pattern. So Clash V2 in this US Open cosmetic. Again, you've got that blue and white, uh, really nice clean look with a white handle on this one as well. And some US Open detailing on that one. Okay, next up, we've got a new limited edition uh, cosmetic to the Dunlop SX300 series of rackets. <clears throat> and these are really, really spin friendly. Rackets, we've reviewed the regular cosmetic ones, so they're unchanged um, as far as specs and performance. Just a limited edition cosmetic on these ones. A really nice kind of a plush pocketing feel from these. Good loop over the net um, and plenty of spin to get that ball dipping down to your target. So those are fun ones to hit and you can get it in that cool looking cosmetic right there. Okay, let's jump into some vintage now. First off, I've got a really special racket. And this racket was for Martina Hingis. This is from 2002. And she was using this racket on tour. And it's from the old uh, uh, Ultimum RQ or TI line of rackets. And um, this one is the Muscle Power 5 HS. This one, uh, the regular racket had a, a different string pattern. So this one is a 1618, I believe, instead of the 1619 on the retail version. So special drill pattern for her. Um, it does have tubing at the throat. Again, I've mentioned this on previous vlogs, but the Material Yonex used right here um, in the throat of the racket just doesn't stand the test of time and it deteriorates. So we've tubed it for you. It's ready to go. Um, just remove the tape and uh, hold the tube in as you string it and then you are good to go on that one. So really fun, playable pro spec racket right there. Next up, we've got a classic from Head. This is their XRC. It looks like a graphite racket. This is a fiberglass racket. It's pretty chunky. Comes with the original fairway leather grip on it too. <clears throat> so a nice mid-size playable collectible right there from Head. And then last but certainly not least, there's a really nice maneuverable offering in a wood rack. It was about as maneuverable as you're going to get. And that's this Snowat Lady Caravel. Beautiful construction on this one. It's got a super thin shaft on it too. So it doesn't carry a lot of weight. It's going to flex a little bit more um, and then just come around a little bit quicker, but not forgiving on the swing. And I just love the look of that one. That is an absolutely beautiful racket. Great one for your collection. Fun one to get out and hit as well. Okay, that's all I got for this week. Thank you so much for watching.